about fish and house guests. Yes, they both stink after three days. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, this is the thing. I hate the sneaky house guests. Right. Where they're like, oh, I'm going to be in town for the weekend. And their definition of a weekend mm -hmm. seems to differ dramatically. I know. I know. From mine. I know. Well, you know what? And I also, this is what I love. Like, in the South, the, the tradition when somebody comes to stay at your house, they used to have finials, right? Mm -hmm. On the post, the four poster beds. And they would be of pineapples. And when somebody had overstayed their welcome, you would unscrew the finials and put them on the bed. And that was the, the yes, that is the signal to let you know it's time for you to walk up is, out of here. That is so passive aggressive. Yes. yes. Pineapples on the bed, y'all. Pineapples. If you can hear, they're, they're not actual pineapples. They're, they're wooden. They're, they're wooden, wooden finials. Somebody's, at home, somebody's running out the store to buy some pineapples <laughs> right now. And they're going to have fruit flies all over their guest room <laughs> yes. because they think we met. They're not real pineapples. It's a pineapple shaped thing yes. you screw they're on wooden, the edge of the... They're wooden pineapples. When people didn't, um, when we didn't have Ikea. But yes. the point is, <laughs> yes. I have had this happen to me. I had a friend come and say that he had a, a bad situation. His mm. girlfriend, you know, uh, threw him out. And uh, he needed a place to stay. So... I woke up and it was a year later. <laughs> and it I am was. not exaggerating. It I am was. a lying. You are not lying. And here's the deal. This is my favorite part of it. Okay, so he would come and he used all of your products. And here's the thing. This is a white guy and Angela's a black woman. So I, you know, I came over and I was like, you know, like whole jars of grease was just used for hair oil. It was a hair product, right? And it was literally, whether or not it needs to be called this, it's called like African Queen yeah. hair product. <laughs> yes. So I go in there and say, it's, this, it's a hair cream that you, maybe it would take you 50 years to use all of it, yes. right? This little jar. I go in there, big paw print, all of it gone. Yes. And I'm like, where's my stuff? And he was like, oh, I've been using it on my hair. Isn't it great? I was like, that's why you look so greasy. <laughs> also, he was teaching, he was taking a class on how to be a Bikram yoga teacher. Yes. And which I, is the hot yoga. The hot yoga. So you get really sweaty. So I would come over and he'd be walking around in his little skanky thong, all sweaty and yeah, weird. He would wear his, like, a speedo thong to teach <laughs> and he was like i don't know if my classes i mean you know i this one studio said they didn't have students for me and i was like mm -hmm. i bet you every class around you and before you was full yes <laughs> is that is that it's your it's your uniform boo yeah it's the problem if you don't now you know i mm -hmm. couldn't tell you when you were staying with me slash living <laughs> you got that on me i really did i was like it's been a year yeah i know you know what else i I can't stand is the house guest who comes and just spreads out uh, like an oil slick. Like a, uh, all their stuff is just all over. Killing you know, all the wildlife in your home. Yes. yes. No, I'm going to tell you, this is the worst. I have, uh, I had a roommate who had a relative, a brother who came to visit for like a week. And let me tell you, not only did he like to leave his, his dirty clothes all over the place, because mm -hmm. we have a fold out couch and he was sleeping there. Mm -hmm. But he, I kept finding used toothpicks wrapped up in uh, receipts. Like he would like pick his teeth and wrap it and then just throw it on the floor. Yeah. Or throw it, I'm not kidding. There was trash on the floor, and I was like, "This is not. This is not your mom's like tr trash storage or whatever. This is mm. not a dump, okay?" But he literally left things on the floor. Those are bad house guests. Yes, yes, yes. So of course, you know, we're all about the science mm -hmm. here, even if it makes no sense and it's not actually scientific. So we got our advanced team of scientists to go out here at me time and survey our neighbors about their house guest, house guest nightmares. Let's take a look. Mm. Oh God, I feel like I am the nightmare of Galison, like the nightmare house guest. He basically came home with like all sorts of illegal things. And I let this guy stay in my house for free for a little bit and he like peed in a bottle and left it under my bed. <laughs> so that was, that was pretty nightmarish. Oh, I don't understand that. You're not, I mean, why would you pee in a bottle? No, no, that oh, is no. not okay. You got to go, let me tell you something, in the middle of the night, I'd be like, I'd be knocking on your forehead being like, you got to leave. <laughs> You got to leave right now. You got to bounce. Oh. All right. Our advanced research team also conducted a very scientific poll on Twitter. We asked, how long would you feel comfortable crashing at someone's house without paying rent? And the results are 64% of you said one week, 25% said a month, zero said six months, 11% say Till they say something, look All at right. you. Till look they say something, you. people, and you know who you are. You know who you are. You, they should, you know that they're not going to say anything. Mm -hmm. You know that they, that's you being passive aggressive. You know that they don't want to say they don't want to be mean to you. <laughs> don't even try that. You're going to end up with pineapples all over your stuff. Yes. <laughs> Have a your friend just throwing pineapples at you. Just throwing Throw pineapples. pineapples. Meet time with Frangela. 